You know, I feel like we are in a season, something that's happening in the body of Christ. It's a season that we're in, right? I'm not saying necessarily this applies to everybody. For those that, that it applies to, yeah, I just feel like this is a season of, of a blessing in disguise. And so what do I mean by that? Like, I feel like um, this is a season where there are things that look like something you don't want or may even look like um, the opposite of, of, of what you want um, and may look like a setback, but God is allowing it, uh, he's allowing it to be able to do what it is that he has been wanting to do in your life. So I just feel like this is like a prophetic season that is happening now, right? That's been happening where there are things going on, you know, maybe you lost a job, maybe you're going to lose a job, maybe you lost an apartment, you lost a, a house, you lost a church community, you lost a, a friendship, you lost, I don't know, go down the list. Maybe to you, it looks like, or it feels like a disappointment. Like it feels like a disappointment. It feels like a setback. It, it, it's hurtful. Um, you know, you know, you don't like it. You know, you're uncomfortable. Um, you know, whatever the case is. And to you, it, 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 it just, it doesn't look like a blessing at all. And I actually feel like there, this has been happening to a lot of people where it's a blessing in disguise. God is allowing that situation to, uh, for you to be able to act on the thing that he's been wanting you to act on. God has uh, allowed that situation for you to act by faith. God has allowed that situation for you to step out. God has allowed that situation for you not to be comfortable, to shake you out of your comfort. God has allowed that, that situation to do something in your character that is going to allow him to answer your prayer. You guys understand that God is not going to give you an idol. God is not going to give you an idol. So a lot of times when we pray for things, when we pray for God to do things, and our character is not, is not prepared for the thing that we're praying for, then what God does is he brings a test or he brings a, a situation or a circumstance or a trial that's going to that's going to that's going to highlight the thing inside of us that would ruin that would ruin that blessing that God has for us. So he's he's highlighting that thing inside of us that is is idolatrous, you know, or, or you know that 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 it has a tendency towards idolatry. That's idolatrous, you know. He's removing that thing. He's allowing because you fasted and you prayed that God would give you this and God would give you that, and so God has heard your prayers. But because in some cases you're not ready yet, your character is not ready for the breakthrough, your character is not ready for what God has for you, he's allowing a circumstance to legitimize what it is that he wants to do. I mean, this is all over the Bible where God gave Joseph a vision. He gave Joseph a vision, but Joseph had to go through a painful process for that vision to come to pass. So the vision did come to pass, but when the vision came to pass, Joseph had a different heart. It was no longer about Joseph's dream. It was no longer about Joseph being happy. It was no longer about 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 uh, uh, you know Joseph's fulfillment and and his dreams coming true. When you are concerned or you are focused on your dreams coming true, number one, the enemy can always use that against you. The enemy will always can always use that against you, one way or another. Be it to deceive you or be it to to cause your emotions to get to be up and down because. That's something that, you know, is, 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 is never should be a priority is your happiness, your fulfillment. So, but when, but when, um, when you have died to the thing that is your dream, that is your ambition, that is your aspiration, or that is the thing that you're looking forward to, when you have died to it, then you can truly enjoy it when you have it, because it doesn't control you. Your whole life is not set on that. Your whole life is not based on the thing that you're dreaming for. So, um, and also, and also God's power. Here's the thing. You could have your dream or you could have God's power and your dream. You could have your dream or you could have God's power, his glory and the desire of your heart, God's way. So when God gives you the desire of your heart, then, then it's able to be an instrument of his glory and his presence because it's consecrated to him because you don't put it first. It's not a priority. It's not a distraction. So I just feel like there are things happening in many of our of our lives right now that seem like it's 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 a detour. It seems like it's something that 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 we don't want. It seems like something um you know not pleasurable or whatever the case is, and it's actually a blessing in disguise. 
There are no's that some of you have gotten. There are closed doors that have closed on some of you. There are there are are, are things that have happened, you know, and 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 it's actually a blessing in disguise um, that God is allowing to be able to promote you, to be able to finally graduate you out of the place that you have been in. 